Yo, what's going on YouTube? I am Silly Ram, and we are back for episode number 17 of our Pokemon Red version randomized Nuzlocke. And uh, if I remember correctly, we uh, we managed to get ourselves the seventh gym badge in the last episode. And uh, we're gonna go and we're gonna go ahead and find out who that uh, mysterious question mark fellow or uh, madam is. And so let's see. Do we have? We do indeed have fly. I don't know how I forgot about that. But we're gonna fly on back to Viridian City because we're on the road. We're on the road to Viridian City, and now we're here. Started from the bottom, and by the bottom I mean directly south of this town. So today, I'm trying to think of what we can do today, because depending on how this gym goes, and you know, hopefully we don't just get absolutely destroyed, I feel like I have said that for the past like four gyms, because uh, I feel like we always go in unprepared, but hopefully, uh, this eighth and final gym will be somewhat merciful to us, and I'm thinking, maybe, just maybe, we'll try to fit in some uh, legendary hunting. But uh, we'll see, we'll see how that goes. Uh, for now, let's just go ahead and I guess get right on into this gym. Let's go, let's see what they have to offer for us. I'm gonna try to avoid hitting the speed up button. Actually, uh, I'm, I take that back. I'm gonna hit the speed up button because. This is going to take a while. Now, if only I had a fire type. That's actually kind of disconcerting that I don't have that on my team, and I'm only just now realizing it this late into the game. I'm gonna play risky though, and we're gonna twin needle. Ooh, yeah, there we go. Okay, because if that thing hit me with a psychic, we were donezo. That was gonna be over. Uh, let's go ahead and go to needle B. Oh, you paralyzed me. You're cute. You're cute. Get destroyed. Okay, let's use up a Hyper Potion, because why not? And we should have, yep, Paralyze Heal right there. Wait, we did it, right? Yeah, perfect. Woo, okay. And uh, let's go ahead and battle this nerd, since we're already right here. Radio Gym was closed for a long time, but now our leader is back. <clears throat> so what, so were you guys all just like out of work? Or like, were you out just like whipping Caterpies in the grass with your cool little whip there, or what? Like, what happened to you in the meantime? I'm really curious to know. Um, well, let's see, let's go into Spin Dry, because as usual, if we get self-destructed on, then that's gonna be a bad time. And Heritage can come in and handle the Scyther, because we don't need any Scyther nonsense to happen again. Oh my god, see, look at these crits. Quick attack this thing. Get out of my face! <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't know why my throat is all raspy right now. Okay, let's go ahead and heal up, and let's move on. I think that, yeah, that's it for that side. Also, I think this is the only gym in Pokemon where there's items, and it's an Ultra Ball, so that's kind of handy. That'll be handy for later on, if we do end up doing things uh, involving legendary hunting. But uh, let's go ahead and go to Needle B and one, oh, okay, two shot this thing. And that was it, all he had was a Bulbasaur, this late in the game, not bad. Uh, Clefable, that's a little scary. I think I want to go to Heritage. Uh, uh, kill it quick. Okay, thank you. Firo, we'll go to Static. Static, this is what you're here for. Oh, come on, dude. I need you to not, I need you to one-shot everything with Thundershock, because if you're not going to have Thunderbolt, then that's just no good. We can't be, we can't be playing like that. Uh, spin dry, go ahead and come on out, surf this thing. Knit arena, we'll go to Needle Bee and Twin Needle. Oh, you lived, wow. Okay then. Not sure why you're so bulky. <coughs> Vulpix, A. Eh? How about spin dry? Oh, don't confuse me like this. Come on. Yes, there we go, we break out. Not bad. So they had Vulpixes and Bulbasaurs in here, that's kind of lame, not gonna lie. Nidorina, again. Uh, Needle B, come on out and Twin Needle this thing. Twin Needle again. There we go. I like how, I like how Needle B is literally only here for Twin Needle. Like, there's no other reason for Needle B to be in battle at any given time. Which is, I mean, I guess it's alright, because Needle B is our vet, and uh, Needle B can use some rest. 
been on the squad for like the whole game, basically. So it's kind of cool that uh, Needlebees managed to come full circle. And uh, <clears throat> I guess along with Heritage and Overbite. Overbite? Yeah, we haven't seen Overbite in a minute. Like, we've got a whole episode and haven't used Overbite at all. I might have to actually take that into consideration when going into the Elite Four, because as much as I would love- aw, oh, this guy wants to troll me and be in the way. As much as I want to keep our current squad as long as we can and take them into the champion battle, I feel like it'd be smarter to go through the PC and see who we can grind up. Like, I know we have potential for a Rapidash in there, uh, which could be better than Overbite, and I know we have, like, potential for a Blastoise in there as well, which could be better than Needlebee, but, um, I don't know. I'll have to look in there and see what I'm going to do about that. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to save this game with 114 hours. <laughs> with 114 hours, not even bad. And, uh, I think we're just going to go ahead and go in. I feel like, I, I feel like Static is not a great lead, so we're going to go with Bulbazar first. Um, and I've also had some thoughts on Bulbazar's nickname. I feel like I kind of want to shorten it, because the Bulb part doesn't really apply anymore. Bizarre is like, it's a cool, it's a cool name, but it's like, it'd just be like, I choose you, Bizarre, like, I don't know, it seems kind of strange. So I was thinking maybe like, Busy? But that's also just like, eh, I don't know. It's kind of a weird nickname, but uh, that's for, that's for later, potentially. <clears throat> for now, you know what? Excuse me for a sec. I'm gonna take a sip of some Seiko Mart brand sports water. That's, that's the sponsor for this episode. Because I am tired of clearing my throat every 30 seconds in this video so far. So excuse me for all of that. But now, let's get into this. He has a Russian accent, so... Uh... Spasible, my friends. Wait, no, that's bad. Uh, yes, hello. Wahaha, <laughs> this is my hideout. I plan to resurrect Team Rocket here, but you have caught me again, so be it. This time, I'm not holding back. Once more, you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. Woo, I'm so scared, yo! I'm not ready for this! Scarlet, just Scarlet Johansson's picking so many fights with me throughout this whole thing. But level 45? Why are you so high level? Stop! Of course, you set up a light screen on my on my Venusaur. Okay, okay, I see you, big dog. Well, we're in this for the long game, so we're gonna poison powder and we're gonna leech seed you. So you can take all the residual damage. I have to remember. But the way that residual damage, or that the way that um, yeah, residual damage works in this game is, see, after after you make a move, immediately after, not at the end of the of the turn, but right after you make your move, you uh, you take damage from whatever status affliction, status aff status ailments that you have. Excuse me. Uh, but anyway, Bulbazar is in here doing the work. Golbat, of course, you have. Uh, if it wasn't for the light screen, I would go into static. I feel like I want to go to static anyway, because static can handle a Golbat. What's Golbat going to have? Bite? And Confuse Ray? I don't care. Statics? Statics Thundershock is out of this world. Yeah, if that's not a 2-8 KO, then static would have gotten released, like, right after this battle. Kept Would have kept him in on a Golem and just, you know, let whatever happened happen. Level 42, can we get Thunder? Double Kick! You know, you've got kind of a booty attack stat, but it's not... Uh, I mean, we don't really need Quick Attack. Yeah, let's get rid of Quick Attack. I want to keep Sand Attack in case we need to like blind an Alakazam like we did before. But, uh... Double Kick could come in handy, potentially. We'll see. Magneton! Uh, you are only Electric-type in this game. So I feel comfortable going to Bulbazar. And because you're not Steel-type, we are going to take advantage of that. We're going to poison you. Yo, Bulbazar is just landing everything today. Ah, uh, Why? I'm not a fan of this right now. How is Bulbazar faster than Magneton? Come on now. And you still rocket Sonic Boom. I see you, big dog. 
Well, catch this leech seed. We're gonna land it. Oh, let's go! What did I tell you? Sonic boom. That's actually super annoying. I think I want to heal up, possibly. We'll see how much we get back from uh, from leech seed. Uh... Uh, do we have any... We do have fresh water. I'm just gonna ahead and use a fresh water, because that's... I'm gonna get hit by, like, a crit sonic boom and lose 40 HP <laughs> or something. Oh, man. Okay, is that light screen down or what? Does that last for the whole battle? Because that's kind of insane if it does. I don't think that's how it works, but... Whoa, the audio went kind of freaky right there. See, that was a... Cr oh, it's because his special is up the freaking roof. But I think the light screen is down, right? Like, we shouldn't be dealing with light screen anymore. Whatever, regardless. The magneton goes down, easy peasy. Bulbazar gains a whole new level, not even bad. Golem comes out, what did I tell you? There's gonna be golems in this gym. And, uh, we can raise a little. I can't speak. I just can't speak, I'm just not... I'm not gonna say anything the rest of the episode. Bye, sorry. Okay, I am gonna say something. Uh, I don't know who I want to go into for this. I think Static should be okay. Look at, look how derpy Dugong is, but it's level 50, dude. Uh, I don't like that it's level 50. I'm gonna Thunder Wave you, just to be safe, just to be cautious about this. Because oh, you're gonna growl me. Oh no, my already pathetic attack stack. What will I do? And we're gonna Sand Attack, just to be safe. Gonna guard spec. Okay, so we're not gonna sand attack anymore. Alright, three hit KO. I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. Oh man, level 50. Woo, that crit. Fully paralyzed, and just take a double kick to the face, why don't you? There we go. And we defeated Scarlet. Ha! That was a truly intense fight. You have won. As proof, here is the Earth Badge. And about 5k, not bad. The Earth Badge makes Pokemon of any level of bay. It is evidence of your mastery as a Pokemon trainer. With it, you can enter the Pokemon League. It is my gift for your Pokemon League challenge. And we get 20, TM27, which is Tri-Attack. I'm actually not too mad about that, depending on who can learn this. Uh, Spindra can learn it. That's actually not bad. That's not bad. That might be better than Body Slam. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, I think what I want to do right now is, uh, now that we have our 8th and final gym badge, there's uh, a couple things that are waiting for us. Such as, let's see here. I'm going to fly to... Cerulean, not Lavender. I'm gonna fly to Cerulean, and yep, just gonna speed right on through it uh, because we have things to do. We don't have time to not be speeding up. Uh, I want to look. Okay, yeah. Let's change boxes. Actually, let's look in box two. Let's go ahead and deposit uh, Overbite for right now, and we'll withdraw some other Mons and see what we've got going on. Because we do have a Hitmonlee in here, sitting at level 35 already, which is not bad. Killer. What is Killer? I feel like Killer is a Krabby. I think Killer is a Krabby. Uh, let's pull out Hitmonlee. And let's check out Hitmonlee's stats real quick. Look at that attack, though. Oh my god. Double kick. And he has Meditate. That's not bad. We could set up with a Hitmonlee and be in business. And a Hitmonlee, I guess in this game it's not all that bulky, but... Um, okay, Hitmonlee is a good option. And I have a nickname for it that's probably pretty simple, but, you know, it, it'll suit it. Uh, I don't want to change box. I pushed that by accident. Uh, let's see who else is in here. Now, I'm going to actually look at my notes because I don't remember what Pokemon is what. I just noticed we do have a Dratini in here. And that could be good. That could be really good. That could be actually really, really, really good. Uh... Uh, I don't know, 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 I don't know. We do have Pokey the Rapidash, or not the Rapidash, the Ponyta. 
which I mentioned earlier. Um, there's Car Wash, the Squirtle. What's Ibuprofen? Ibuprofen is a Slowpoke? Yes, it is. Yes, it is indeed. Uh, there's Houdini, but Houdini wouldn't evolve, so that's kind of unfortunate. Um, why did I nickname Graveler 1D? Why did I do that? I have no idea why I nicknamed it 1D. I don't. I genuinely don't remember. Uh, but whatever, it's okay. Uh, I actually kind of like the idea of Slowpoke because that's a psychic weak or a psychic uh, resistance, which could be super handy. And uh, let's go ahead and change boxes again. Um, no, change box again. I just feel uh, I feel bad because it's like. Do I really want to get rid of two? Uh, you know what? 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 I'm take. I take it back. I take it back. I feel bad putting overbite and uh, who's fossil fuel? Oh, that's a wheezing. I feel bad putting uh, overbite and needlebee into the box because they've been here for the whole time. They're the MVPs. Like honestly, if I just if I'm just patient and I grind them up, then they will be on par and will be okay. So, I think what we should do now is I should look and see, do I have room in here? I, yeah, I've got items to toss if I really absolutely need to. But I think what I want to do is I want to go to the, oh my god, did I really just jump over the thing? The curse of the speed up button, ladies and gentlemen. Um, let's cut through this tree and let's go ahead and speed our way on over to the power plant. So, I'm pretty sure... That, um, Zapdos, or whatever Zapdos is going to be randomized to, will be active. And if it's not, then I'm just an absolute scrub, and I don't understand how Pokemon works, and I should just not be playing this game right now. But, uh, let me just double check something. I think, because we should be able to get two encounters, right? Because it's going to be, oh no, it's just, it's Route 10, and then Power, okay, never mind. Um, we can't, we already have a Route 10 encounter, so we're just going to surf. And we have our power plant encounter, as well as whatever static legendary will be awaiting us. Uh, this kid wants a battle. So speaking of overbite, you need to maintain your relevance, pal. So you and Needlebee are going to get us through this little... Okay, I want to test out Super Fang also while we're here. I've never seen that animation, and it does do exactly half. That's insane. I didn't know that... That move was in this game, that still blows my mind. Um, but actually, now that I realize that we have Super Fang, I'm glad I didn't just toss over right in the box because that's gonna be great in case we come up against some wall that wants to set up its defenses on us. Oh, the star encounter! Oh, that's uh that's dupes. That is dupes, doop a doop 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 dupes. Found an elixir. I'm glad that we came here, because that will come in handy for sure. Is this gonna be our encounter though? Ooh, okay. Okay. I I can dig a Rhyhorn. I can dig that. I can dig that. So I think we can Super Fang safely. And I think we can do it again. Because uh, Super Fang is a great move for catching Mons, clearly. Can we hit a Glare, please? Thank you. Oh my god, why did we miss so many times? And Rhyhorn was caught. Now, I actually have a really ridiculous nickname for this for this specific Pokemon. Its massive bones are a thousand times harder than human bones, and it can easily knock a trailer flying. Alright then, Rhyhorn, you need to chill out. But uh, I'm gonna call you Great Value. And the reason I have such a weird nickname for this thing is because back when I first saw um, back when I was first really getting into uh, Poketubers and stuff, I watched um, a Soul Link. I watched, not to like name drop or anything, but like two of my favorite YouTubers are not just Poketubers, but YouTubers in general are Shady Penguin and The King Nappy. And they did a Soul Link, and I thought that that was the most awesome Pokemon co op ever. Like, it's super cool. Uh, this doesn't count as a static encounter because we're going to get our legendary, so I'm not going to count these. That's pretty cheeky if I would. I would like to take a Scyther though. Oh, it's level 40? 
Oh, we might be in some trouble. I'm scared. Do we fight this thing or do we try to run? I would have loved to have ca caught a scyther though. Oh man. I don't even know how many... Uh, should I do like... The wild encounter, a static Voltorb, and the static legendary? Because I want this scyther so bad! That'd be a great replacement for Needlebee if we end up having to do that. Oh man. Because Scyther puts in so much work. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna make an executive decision and I'm gonna say that we are allowed to catch this. Oh we're allowed to catch it if we don't die. Okay, you can raise your evasion all you want. You're gonna get glared. No, you're not. Okay, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. I'm actually legitimately terrified. Never mind. Yep, we're not messing with that. That thing set up a swords dance. We were 100% dead. Okay, well, so much for the static encounters. But anyway, back to Soul Link. The reason I call Rhyhorn great value is because I was doing, I was just doing a Soul Link for fun with a friend because I was like, hey, check it out. Oh, wow, Aerodactyl. I was like, hey, check it out. These uh, these guys are doing a Soul Link, and it seems pretty cool. Um, should I go? I'm going to go Spin Dry, see what happens. Okay, you're setting up an agility. Can we just surf you and kill you? Thank you. Um, so they did the Soul Link, and I was like, man, that's such a cool idea. I want to try this. So I played it with a friend. I convinced someone to play it with me. Screech, that's booty. Um, and at some point, I think it was... Uh, Gold and silver we were playing, or something like that, and I ended up catching a uh, Rhyhorn, and I had no idea what to name it. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna close my eyes, and I'm gonna name it the first thing that I look at when I open my eyes. And I was in my friend's apartment, and she had a like just a pack of uh, plastic wrap <laughs> sitting around, and on the box it just said great value, and I was like, all right, I guess it's a great value to Rhyhorn then. A Flareon? Oh, that w actually would have been kind of cool. That thing did a lot of damage to me. Calm down. There are so many of these things! Why are there so many? And why does Dratini give zero experience points? That's kind of weird. TM16. This is also I want why I wanted to come in here, because I know that there's lots of TMs. And of course, we get useless gusts. Not that we really could have made any use with it anyway. Another one. Oh my god, Noodle Queen. Let's just run from you, because I don't feel like getting bodied. Don't feel like getting body today. No, thank you. And, uh... So, I guess we're just gonna keep on going through here. Maybe I should have used a... What was that? Was that a Hyper Potion? I feel like that was a Hyper Potion. I'm not entirely sure. I'm gonna pop a Super Repel, because we don't need to be messing with all these wild Pokemon right now. To be completely honest. Whoa, was that a Max Repel? That was a Max Repel. Yo. I can read so good. <laughs> I can grammar and language so good, you guys. Also, I skipped uh, this room because, again, I'm a scrub and I don't remember the layout of this building. Uh, so let's pop that max spell. Might as well. And let's see what we can get. It's another one of these. Ooh, eradicate versus eradicate. Let's go. Let's go. My eradicate's so much better. Overbite level 42, baby. Wigglytuff, I'm gonna kill you just for, okay, can we kill you please? Thank you. That was a little scary. Wigglytuff is actually kind of strong in this game. Max Revive, nice and useless, but I mean, I guess that's money in the bank, even though we're already loaded. Uh, do we go down? No, we don't go down, we go this way, right? Yes, okay. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with this place, like this is a really simple uh, place to navigate the end of the day. Uh, let's use uh, another super repel. And yeah, we have plenty of ultra balls. I, I don't know. I don't know if 10 will be enough to catch a legendary, but we're going to hope that this game doesn't just screw me over. <laughs> Are we serious? That was so anticlimactic. Just like, oh, I'm sorry for talking crap about you, you crazy little bird. Oh my god. Okay, I'm not ready for this legendary. I feel like I'm... This is a recipe for disaster. I'm just gonna get absolutely destroyed. We get found a Pokeball, so that might come in handy. Uh, okay, I was gonna say, it's not even here. Now, if we can catch this thing and 
if it's a Mewtwo, I have no problem putting Needlebee in the box, and I'll just say, you know what, Needlebee, you did us a great service, and you can just, this is your retirement. You can just go chill in the box. Um, but if it is, on the same note, if it is a, uh, a Mewtwo, we're gonna get, we're gonna have some trouble. So, I'm gonna save the game right now. Please be a Mewtwo. Oh, it's actually it's is it actually a Zapdos? Oh, it did the Zapdos cry, but it's a mole trace. You know what though? Honestly, out of the legendary birds, I think I'm pretty sure Moltres is the worst one. I don't know, I feel like between Moltres and Articuno, it's a really close race. I personally think that Moltres is kind of the worst one, to be honest. Um, but, uh, and Zapdos is obviously the best. But I think that Moltres would be great for our team, because it's probably only gonna know Ember. But, that'll be a fire type. And I feel like I would be okay with replacing Needlebee with Moltres. You're gonna back my Jolteon and crit me! I'm gonna blind you! Stop critting me with your peck, please! And now we're fire spinned in here. Okay, pal. Okay, and now you're gonna peck. You're gonna go for peck. I know you're gonna go for peck. Yeah. Uh, we should be able to live a crit from that range easily. Okay, okay. No more crits for that, please. Thank you. I, I seriously cannot speak today. I don't know why. Wow, we're getting really lucky with these uh, paras. I'm totally okay with this. Okay. That hurt. We're gonna Hyper Potion up again. Uh, now the only problem is, as you guys can clearly see, we're running pretty low on healing items. And if I can't blind this thing enough... Okay, I'm gonna go for that one more time. Fully paralyzed. You're in the lowest possible health that I can get you. And you're paralyzed, you better stay in this Ultra Ball. You can't even see anything. I... Can't believe that actually worked. <laughs> what? What is life? Did we actually the first ball? Moltres! You're so pathetic! Known as a legendary bird of fire, every flap of its wings creates a dazzling flash of flames. You're so lame, dude! You didn't even put up a fight! I can't even give you a cool nickname. Now I have to give you something ridiculous. Oh man, we actually caught a Moltres though. That's pretty insane um what am I gonna call a pathetic mole trace because mm. like I could call you Phoenix or I could call you Fox like Fox like um Dumbledore's Phoenix to be more precise but like those are like cool birds of flame you just you caved you fell to one ultra ball and a Jolteon, like, and, and I guess, you know, a Polyrath as well. But wow, we actually got a, wow, that, that went a lot better than I was planning. Um, hmm. Well, I guess we'll call you... Something to do with, like, rubber chickens. I don't want to call you rubber. Hmm. Uh... What do I even call this thing now? Uh, I could call you... Oh man, oh man, oh man. I'm gonna call you Nugget. I'm gonna call you Nugget because you're, you're, you're literally just gonna be Chicken Nuggets sooner or later. I'm gonna call you, yeah, I'm gonna call you Nugget. Because you fell to one Ultra Ball. You're about as useful as a Chicken Nugget. But... You have Fire Spin, which is absolutely broken in this game. So, I'm gonna fly back to Viridian City. <clears throat> and, uh, we're going to... I think we're gonna drop off Needlebee. Look at this old man sitting in our text box. Get out of there! We're trying to access the system! God! The audacity of this man. But I think... I think it's time... to let Needlebee... Needlebee, 
the star, the MVP, the one who saved this Nuzlocke. As much as I want to bring you into the Hall of Fame, A, I don't want you to die on the way there, B, you probably <laughs> would die on the way there, and C, I just want you to enjoy your retirement regardless of how the rest of this Nuzlocke goes down. So Needleby, thank you for your services. You have been a fantastic partner, but I think right now it's time for us to scoop up our nugget. And let's check out our nugget. 13 HP. It has, wow. Okay, I was talking all kind of crap. This thing is base 100s around the board. It only has peck and fire spin, but that's literally all that we need. That's insane. Nugget. Why are you so powerful, dude? Okay, I'm gonna have to go through the PC, and I'm gonna have to look at our TMs and such. I'm gonna see what uh, Nugget is gonna be, uh, you know, able to learn. And I think the Nugget's just gonna be on the squad. Uh, Needleby, the MVP, is just gonna be chilling in the box after a long, long uh, career as a Nuzlocker. But Needleby, you have a special place in my heart. You prevailed where Woody and Angela could not. That You have been with us for so long. Oh man, I just, you know, I'm gonna stop giving speeches about Needleby now. But uh, with all of that being said, I think that today, that's gonna be the end of the episode. And it's, uh, I feel like, it's, just, it's a little shorter than usual, I did that intentionally, because I have had a lot of really long episodes, and I feel like it's probably hard to watch for that long of a time. I'm gonna shoot for shorter episodes of, like, everything on the channel if I can, just because I feel like people will appreciate that more. And, um, yeah, you know, hopefully that'll blow over well, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like, and go ahead and subscribe. We are nearing the end of our first Nuzlocke on the channel and I can't believe it feels like it feels like it hasn't really even been that long because really it hasn't this has been a really fast playthrough I didn't expect it to go this quickly but I've got some awesome new stuff coming to the channel next as far as Pokemon goes and of course you know Fallout League of Legends all that stuff is going to be on the channel and I've got some other stuff in the bag that I'm potentially working on blah, 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 working on we'll see how that all goes uh, but until those things go from dream to reality and until the next episode i hope that you all have a great day or evening or whatever time you're watching this and uh yeah thanks again for watching and i guess i'll see you in the next one so until then peace out <laughs>